Hi guys, welcome back again. Right, I've got another pattern for you. I've just had a quick look at my, the one that um, I did earlier and I'm, I've got a funny feeling that my camera might have been a little bit smudged. I do hope you can see. I'm giving it a good clean. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it can happen. It's the first time that's happened, but um, hopefully you can still see the video. Right, so this is also a corner to corner pattern. This is the granny square well granny stitch should I say and we know that with grannies you can work upwards um, you can work from the center and work around to the, the the size that you want but this is also another good one where you're not sure how big you want your aura project to be you can um, keep going to the length that you need and it will go up for the same amount and it's going to be a square this is not a rectangle it will be a square pattern um, the other thing that uh, I wanted to say was that uh, you can go ahead and make a blanket or anything that you want with this, but you can also make the smaller squares. I mean, I've made this square. Let's see if I can get my measuring tape. This is just a sample piece for you, just to give you an idea. That's six inch. So six inch by six, six inch squares, and you can do them in various colors. You can also change colors as you go along, or you could do half and half, half and, and then the other half another color. But I actually like mine in all one colour and then if I want to be colourful I'll choose different colours uh, and make a squares blanket out of it. Right, let's begin this one then. So this is again done in DK yarn, lightweight yarn number three and I will be using a uh, five millimetre crochet hook. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. So much more better when we're zoomed in. I do apologise if you can see any dry hands, but I much prefer you to see the stitches. <laughs> okay, so I've got this lovely um, greeny sage colour, so you can see it on the screen. So you will need a 5mm crochet hook for this one. And, do bear with me, the hair stuck on here. And do your slip knot, however you want to, and chain four. One, two, three, and four. As always, um, I have a video listed separate to show you how to do a slip knot and chain. This entire um, pattern is in uh, double crochet and chaining. So, what we want to do is form a loop. So, we go into that very first stitch, pull the yarn through it, and then through the one on the hook, and you'll get a little ring here. Okay. What you need to do next is chain three. You then want to go into the ring and do three double crochets. One, two, and three. If you don't know how to do the double crochet, like I said, I've got a video listed, but all you need to do is yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two and pull through two and then you need to do one more okay so what you'll have on this uh, starting point is your chain three three double crochets and an additional double crochet on the end so you want to chain three and flip your work and you want to put in three double crochets into that first between the first double crochet and the second double crochet so right there in between the stitches one two and three on the next one, you want you don't chain in between, you carry on to this space here. So you've got your three, we'll call this the granny stitch. The granny stitch is three double crochets. Go straight into that space there and do three double crochets. Okay, but when you get to the end and you've done your three double crochets, 
always do a fourth one because we need to have a stitch to work into into the sides okay so when we chain three that will be our first bit there that we need to work into then we do the cluster of the three into there no chain three do uh, double crochets into here and then an additional fourth one okay so technically it's four and four only on the ends chain three and then into that like i said there's your three go into that space there and do two uh, sorry three double crochets two and three then we move on to the middle bit there and it's three double crochets You see, if we didn't have that space here, we wouldn't have the option now to do our three double, uh, additional three double crochets on the end. So there's your three. Go into that, in between that stitch, not on top of the stitch, into that actual stitch. In between that stitch, should I say. And do three double crochets, which would be our uh, three 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 but because we've done one here to chain up we do another one on the end here always do four on the end so you begin by chain three and then when you've worked your row it's four double crochets on the end one chain three flip your work going between that fourth and that third one one two three so three and four go in between there and do your three double crochets move along to the next space and do three double crochets move to the next space and three double crochets then go into that last space there and place four This is what we have so far could have been a bit neater here but it's fine okay so you're working this way and that way chain three flip your work there's your three Go into that stitch there and do three double crochets. Move along to the next space. Three double crochets. Move along to the next space. Three double crochets. Three double crochets in every one until you get to that last space here and it's four. One, two, three and four. I'll do one more row and then I'll show you how to decrease. One, two and three. Flip your work. Go into the, between the two double crochets there and place three double crochets. Yarn over, next space. And three double crochet. Yarn over, go into the next space. And three double crochets. 
into each and every space, three double crochets, no chains in between. And then there's your last one here. Okay, so this is what we have. And now we want to bring our work like so. So like I said, you can carry on as big as you need. If you're making a blanket, then go all the way to the, uh, the width that you need. And then once you've got there, which will be many, many rows, it works up quite quickly though. What you need to do then is decrease. And the way we decrease is chain three, flip your work over. And what we do is we miss that bit there and we go into that first space there and do three. Double crochets. That takes us up. See? And do your three double crochets as normal in each space. In my last um, few tutorials, quite a few actually, I'm zooming in quite a lot so you can see at this angle here. If this is way too close for you, then please let me know. I'm trying to save you having to <laughs> zoom to see where I'm placing the stitches because it can be quite difficult if I'm far further away. So only for when I'm showing you what I'm doing, I'm zoomed in quite a lot. So I hope that helps you guys two and three okay and then when you get to this last one here normally we would put three right to create keep going up we are just doing one double crochet here so that will now bring our work up that way and this will bring our work that way and every decrease is chain three flip your work and then what we're going to do now is we want this to go up so the way to do that is you go you miss these three don't do anything in that space after the three go into there and do your three double crochets go across three double crochets do slow me down if I'm still going too fast That's your uh, one here, two and three. I do apologize for dropping. It's just that I'm working through the camera. Sometimes it gets difficult to see. Right, so when you get to this space here, all you're doing is one double crochet. Don't be alarmed if you think what's this gap, it will make sense. One double crochet. Going across, going up. We've only got a couple more rows for this. One, two, and three. Flip your work. Miss that. Go straight into here and do your three double crochets. And then the next one, three double crochets. And the next one. When you get to this space here, it's just one double crochet into there. Trying to show you every round where we are at. Chain three. Miss this bit here. 
go into the between the first two granny stitch uh, granny stitch clusters and do three double crochets. Did I chain three? Yes, I did. And into this one. One, two, and three. And then in your last space here, just a double crochet. Just zoom out a little bit. There we go. So we've worked here to here. Chain three, one, two, and three. Keep your work. So you've got two remaining now. Go into the middle and do three double crochets. And then a double crochet into that space there. Then once you've done your last one, chain three and just flip your work. When you've only got one set of three remaining, go into that corner and slip stitch. And here we are. That's your granny square corner to corner. might make a bunch of these actually the problem is every time I do a tutorial I think oh I want to try another blanket or I want to, but it just takes forever <laughs> and I'm busy making tutorials for you guys as well and finishing off some orders for people and requests from my daughter mommy can I have this so okay so here we are anyway let me get the bigger piece that's your corner to corner Granny square and there you go you can see a bit more better now so that's another corner to corner for you hope you like this tutorial thanks guys for your support please do subscribe like and share and um, I need to think of other things now. I do have a shawl pattern, but that's I want to complete the shawl that I've made or making, should I say. Um, and then when I get towards the border, I will do a little a quick sample of how to do the shawl and then I can show you how to do the border together. So it's a bit of a bigger project, but um, that will come very soon. Okay, guys, hope you like this one too. And I'll see you soon.